I won. I can't believe it. I actually won. I never win anything, but this time was different. I looked at the numbers printed on the small slip of paper in my hand. Shaking, I, again, for the hundredth time, checked my numbers against those on my computer screen. Yep, they matched. I won. I was going to be going to the lottery headquarters first thing in the morning. I have no idea what I won, but it had to be something good. This lottery was a mystery. The state had started doing this a few months ago. There was, of course, the normal cash prize lottery, but this one was a bit different to spice it up. It could be anything. Last week, it was a pricey mansion on the hills. The week before that, it was an expensive exotic car. The week before that, it was a month-long trip around the world. I didn't know what it was going to be exactly that I won, only that it had to be good. It just had you. I sat down and then stood up again. I won. Oh my god, I can't believe I won. I didn't sleep a wink. I couldn't. Every time I closed my eyes, I would imagine some other fantastic prize. I was too excited. I spent the night on my computer looking up all the past prizes for this lottery since it started. Each new page, each new prize, only made me that much more ecstatic. The morning came slowly, but eventually it did come, and I got in my car and I made my way to the lottery headquarters. They greeted me and looked at my ticket and verified it. It was, in fact, a winner. So I said to the lottery chief that it ushered me into a side room. What happens next? What did I win? We don't know, he laughed. It's as much of a mystery to us as it is to you. Two other people came in and wheeled in what looked like a bingo machine. All of those balls represent a prize. We spin it and what comes out is yours. They started to spin it. Time slowed down. Eventually, a single ball made its way down the chute and plopped into the waiting hands of the man I was talking to. He held it up and looked at it. His face went pale. Well, um, he said at last. I didn't even know that was in there. He showed it to the other two and one of them left the room and the other looked uneasy. So I asked, more to break the silence than anything, what did I win? In due time, the man said, looking at his watch, his shoes, the other person in there. It didn't escape my notice that he wouldn't look at me. The door finally opened again and the other person had brought with them a giant of a man. He looked to be security or something. He took me by the arm and led me to another back room. There, in the centers of it, was a gallows. Now, wait just a minute, I sputtered out. I'm sorry, the chief said. The state decides this and they figured there should be a few bad prizes in there as well. To, you know, balance things out. The noose was placed around my neck and I began to scream. A hood was placed over my head. You won a trip to the gallows, the lottery chief choked out. Um, enjoy your prize. And he pulled a lever. The floor beneath me opened and I took full possession of my prize. <laughs>